What's going on guys? Well, I am here. Welcome back to a brand new video. So sorry if I sound kind of tired. I just woke up. Uh, but yesterday I announced on my Instagram story that I was going to share my thoughts on Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga and it being released again. I'll also uh, react to the new gameplay trailer uh, that was from Gamescom 2021. I saw it when it first came out, but I didn't make a, a video or a reaction because I had other projects going on, personal stuff and everything. Uh, but now uh, I'm going to do this very early <laughs> and, and I know it's probably like five days too late, but I feel like if I keep pushing more videos out, you guys are going to be less interested. But, you know, it is what it is. So, before I get on with it, I want to say I'm sorry for a lot of Star Wars content as of late. Maybe you guys are into it, maybe you guys aren't. But, Star, War Star Wars is something that, you know, I've been passionate about since I was seven. And... You know, sometimes when I run out of video ideas or maybe I just want to talk about it for the hell of it. So, yeah, Gamescom 2021, I tuned in to its premiere back when it was streaming. And I've watched probably about, fuck, I didn't want to, I didn't want to start the trailer yet. Um... But yeah, Lego Star Wars Skywalker Saga has been announced E3 2019, and we barely get much news about it, and then we get a trailer, and then it gets delayed again. But you know what? We'll, we'll watch this trailer, we'll break it down, and we'll see how it is. It's probably going to be another 20-minute video, 20-minute reaction, but that's what I do now. So without further ado, I'm not going to waste any more of your time. Let's get on with it. Oh, my new headphones are very loud. I thought they were playing through my laptop speakers too. I was afraid of waking up my brother. Okay, so let's go over here. Of course, you got the Darth Maul scene. <laughs> you got Anakin in this uh, suit. The Darth Maul animation looks good too. This is some pretty sick gameplay. Look at all that combat. Okay. <laughs> How did my father die? Oh shit. It seems like the lightsaber dueling is has improved since the last game. That voice acting's weird. The rebellion is reborn today. I will not be the last Jedi. Like, I don't think that's actually Mark Hamill there. But, um... I like the polished looks, though. That looks cool. Join the fight. The seismic charges, if any of you remember from uh, the Battlefront 2 videos, I'm like, oh, that's beautiful. And then you got the Geonosian Arena here. <laughs> I thought that was funny. This, this, this I was most interested about. This is like one of the main reasons why I wanted to react to this trailer, the galaxy map. Uh, you know, so you got you got a uh, Western Reaches, which means you got your zero point zero two percent completed. So it tells you how much. 
You got Dagobah, Utapau, Dekoar, Nabu, Geonosis, Tatooine, Kamino, Kajimi, Kashyyyk, Yavin 4. These, these other planets, like, uh, there's no Coruscant on here. What happened to Coruscant? You got, is there Mustafar on here? Mustafar is not even on here too. Okay. But I like that I, you could tell from these that it's from uh, Xbox One. I th if I have to assume that's characters that you've unlocked, that's ships. Um, yeah. I mean, this menu looks cool, I guess. And I guess you're on the Dagobah Hug world. Yeah, that could be pretty interesting. If this game ever decides to come out, I mean... That'd be a cool gameplay mechanic to sort of discover. Um, Ray on a jetpack. Is that C-3PO on a walker? Sorry, I didn't really look that much at the trailer when I reacted to... When I went... When I... <laughs> sorry, I can't speak today. When I was at the Gamescom live stream because I was more worried about the release date. So I didn't really pay too close attention to the to the trailer. And this is my second time watching. It's not like I watched the trailer again uh, until now. So you got C-3PO on a walker. I guess that'd be pretty cool. We finally got to play Yoda versus Palpatine. That was another thing. Like I, I think I said this in my... Uh, Lego Star Wars Complete Saga stream where I'm like, take the Kashyyyk level out with Yoda and replace it with like Anakin at the Jedi Temple or Yoda versus Palpatine. Now we're getting Yoda versus Palpatine in this game, apparently. I hope like in the last level, it's a you get to transition between Yoda and Palpatine and then Anakin versus Obi-Wan. I think that'd be cool. So that way you can expand different uh, different levels in, this, in uh, episode three. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. You see there's a Hoth one. I'm I'm really looking forward to this game, but uh, for obvious reasons, I'll rant about it later on in this video. Ships level look cool as well. Cool, cool combat with the droids. I didn't mean to pause there. There it is. It was to that point where they knew. They knew they were trolling us. They knew. The boy has no patience. Yeah, I don't think that's a coincidence. So. Let's keep it there. Let, let's, let's keep it there for this part of the video. Okay. Does this work? Uh, no, let's keep it the way it is. Let's keep it the way it was. But, um... I mean, this game was announced E3 2019. And I think it was supposed to come out, like, October 2020. And around May... I think it got delayed or somewhere in 2020 got delayed, but you know, we were, I was fine with it. I don't know about other people. I was fine with it because you know, the pandemic and everything, uh, the pandemic can really screw things up. And then, so they gamescom 2020 comes around and they're like, Oh no, we'll, we'll release it. We'll release it. Um, spring 2021, we get nothing. We get nothing in between Gamescom 2020 and Spring 2021. 
no communication at all. Um, I think aside from like a simple tweet and then they pull up this little thing and it's like, Oh, we're delaying the game indefinitely. Never says any reason. And, you know, people gave it the benefit of the doubt again. It's like, okay, well, you know, polish things, bugs, glitches, stuff with animation that needs to be fixed. Okay, fine. But now they're doing spring 2022. And it's to the point where I got to ask why. Why is why are you waiting so long? Like this game is like 3 years after it's going to be 3 years after its announcement. It's two, but it's going to be three years uh, in 2022. And we haven't had so far as like a simple, like actual gameplay footage. It's not like in a trailer. Like. Like, okay, we have like little snippets like this. We have a little stuff like this. And then you got the the map and then you got like little characters running around like that's cool you got like little sneak peeks on like levels and stuff but it's not like you've showed like a gameplay demo like i have watched gamescom 2021 the live stream only f because of this i wasn't interested in any of the other games call of duty halo whatever um but with the call of duty they gave us like 10 minutes of like the campaign with like someone running around shooting a bunch of people, blah, 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 blah. And Halo, they had a big trailer and they had a developer come out and was like and announcing everything, talking about the game, blah, 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 blah. I think even one of the games um, in Gamescom got released, but. They had a developer go up on stage and explain why. They explained why the game got delayed. Here, they're not they're not doing anything. Like it go it went from this trailer and then it went right on to the next game. I'm gonna see if I could go on to the Gamescom like stream. See if I could like is there a re-upload of their stream? 2021 stream. Oh fuck, it was like seven hours long. Okay, this video is going to take a bit. Okay, so let's go right. This is the Call of Duty stuff. Am I getting too far here? Christ. Whatever, but you understand what I mean. You understand what I mean. It went from like straight to. It went straight to um, Lego Star Wars. Oh, no, there it is. There is a real part. This is the Call of Duty. 
There it is. So, yeah. One comment said it started at two hours, so we were able... So I watched almost two hours of this event, because it started at the two-hour mark, and then this is, like, around the four-hour mark. So we've already saw all this shit. See, they show all this. Okay, we're going to get a developer. All right. Immediately goes on to the next game. Meanwhile, you have something like Call of Duty. Right? Oh, crap. No, it starts around here. Right? So see, you have this big Halo trailer. Huge Halo trailer, right? And then look at this. So they got they got a they got a developer coming out here and talking about the game and everything like that. Lego Star Wars, we got nothing. It was okay, right on to the next game. Like, why? Why do you gotta do that, man? So now this is another part. Like, you wanna say spring twenty two twenty two? Fine. You know? Whatever. But my problem with this is the lack of communication. We, we don't have a reason why. We don't have anything. So, this next part of the video, I'm going to be reacting to other people's reactions. So, you got, you got this, of course, the trailer re-uploaded on Twitter. And then they retweeted something from the 20th. Their, their other last tweet was September 4th. Just hang... Out until Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga launches spring 2021. We're in September now. Well, it's going to be like a few, two days until September. Um, And then like what? TT Games probably did this. Like. Yeah, it was April. They had this huge window. All of us at TT Games are working hard to make... Lego Star Wars, the Skywalker Saga, the biggest and best ever Lego game. But we're going to need more time to do it. We won't be able to make our intended spring release date, but we'll provide updated launch timing as soon as possible, a.k.a. whenever we fucking feel like it. That is retarded. I do not... It's... You, you need to communicate with your consumers. Like, your consumers can deserve better. Like, it's so dumb. It's so dumb. No, I don't want to reply. Can I look at other people's replies? No? Or do I just click on the video? No? Oh, whatever. But... Treat your consumers way better than this, man. Like it. So this is going to be a part of the of the video where I'm just going to say my thoughts and opinions. I thought I was going to read other people's thoughts and opinions, but no. So, I'm going to close this video with my thoughts and remarks. Spring 2022, I'd be fine with. But you have to give a reason. You got to tell people, hey, this is why we're going through animation chops. We're going through, you know, staff changes. Like, we can't have that much people in the same building because of the pandemic. Because the pandemic is still going on. Fine. Okay. 
We'll give you the benefit of the doubt, whatever. But you can't keep going the way you've been doing for the past two years where you just release a trailer, you expect us to be fine with it, and then just... We're done here. Let's go another year without announcing anything. TT Games. Brilliant. Like, you can't do that stuff, man. Your consumers deserve better, you know? Yeah, you, you had the people from Halo come out. Yeah, the people from Call of Duty before they had this huge 10 minute campaign uh, demo. That's the thing. If you want us to wait until like six months until your game comes out, why not put out a demo? Why, why not like give us like a tutorial? On the controls, why don't you just like have someone go on stage and play the game? Um, because right now, all the gameplay we've really seen is a part of a cinematic trailer. That's it, we've only had two trailers, nothing else on the game aside from a couple screenshots and a big post saying, Hey, we're delaying the game again, and now. Second time, third time, it's supposed to be 2020, then it was spring 2021, now it's spring 2022. It's to the point where people aren't going to be hyped about your game anymore. It's going to get to the point where people are like, should we trust this? Is it really going to come out spring 2022? Or are we going to wait until this? They're going to have another window saying, hey, we can't make the spring 2022 release date. We'll provide more information as soon as possible, a.k.a. When, whenever we freaking feel like it or whenever the next game's comes coming out. Like, why? It's to the point where people aren't are going to lose interest if they haven't already. Me, I have loved LEGO games especially Lego Star Wars games, for the better part of a decade. Lego Star Wars, the complete saga, like... Okay. This game... Is my favorite game of all time. Everyone else has Halo. Everyone else has Call of Duty... Little 13-year-olds have Fortnite. I have this. I'm 18 years old, and this is still my favorite video game of all time. So whenever, so when they said they were going to have a new Lego Star Wars game where it's like the, the, whole, the whole saga with the, with the sequels, and it's going to be polished, it's going to have voice acting, it's going to have all this shit, I, me along with other people were excited. But it's to the point now where you keep delaying everything, you keep doing all this, and... You're going to lose hope. You're going to lose hype. You're going to lose all of this shit, you know? And I know there's going to be people in the comments being like, but they're trying to make the game good for everybody. You don't want them to release a bad game, don't you? No, I don't want it to be bad, but you still got to give a reason as to why you're delaying the game. Not once, not twice, but now three times. You expect us to be patient, but you're not giving us anything aside from this trailer a year ago. And this trailer now. No one's going to care anymore. Let's look at the comments on this video. I'm surprised why I even went on Twitter. Spring 2022, Yoda, the boy has no patience. The fans, is that like a personal attack? Yeah, that's what I meant. The game looks sick. I'll make sure to put $60 in my will so my great-grandkids can enjoy this when it comes out. Um, boy has no patience. Yeah, it's all about that. Can't wait to do a playthrough. Uh, Honestly, expecting it to come in December, but the scope does look well beyond the usual LEGO game, which is amazing. Okay, so... 
Um, the comments are just hype, but you're 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 gonna have people that are just gonna lose hope now. And yeah, I like the way it looks. Okay, I'll give it that. It looks way better than any Lego game. Way better than the complete saga. But you you still gotta tell us the reason why. Like, I'm not even pissed about the release date anymore. I'm pissed on the lack of communication between TT Games, WB. You know, like what's going on back there. This is proof on how not to market your your game, movie, TV show, even music, you know, stuff like that. You you can't just say, "Hey, it's going to be out one day." Oh, it's going to be out now in this date. Oh, now it's going to be out another date. It's to the point where people are just going to say, "Hell, oh, okay, spring 22 is going to come around. They're going to release a window, and then it's going to be spring 2023, and then they're going to announce another thing, and then it's going to be spring 2024." Blah, 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 blah. We're going to be the same position that we are now. Just like the same position we're in a year ago. But. I. I really hope that they follow through with this spring 2022 release. Otherwise, I bet you barely anyone's going to be hyped about this game anymore. People who cared in 2019 probably don't even care anymore because. This marketing strategy is not working out for them. You need to be communicative to your fan base. Because if you don't, you're going to sit there and wonder why no one's going to buy your game. You got to think about things like this. Anyways. Yes. I want to do a playthrough of this game when it comes out. But the fan of me wants to play this game, whether or not I'm going to do a playthrough on this, whether I'm not, whether or not I'm going to record it. I'm as hyped to this game as you guys are. I've wanted to play this game even before I've started doing YouTube videos again. But, well, whatever. You want to give it spring 22, 2022, whatever. Fine. We'll give you the benefit of the doubt once again. But if you delay this again, don't be surprised if people are going to lose interest. Anyways, this has been my almost 30 minute long debate on Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. If you've made it this far, please leave a like, subscribe, comment, tell me whatever um, videos you want me to do next. Whether it's Star Wars related, whether it's someone something else. I don't know if the audio worked in this video for you. Um... I got a new pair of headphones, so maybe they might work with the screen recorder. But, you know, whatever. So be sure to subscribe for more content. Be sure to comment, share, whatever you like to do. Follow me on Spotify. Link will be in the description below. Um, yeah. Follow me on my Instagram at the official WoeYM for news and future video topics, whatever. And, yeah, that's been it. This has been Will I Am. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.